All right, good morning, everyone. It is build day two of the cabin project. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired after yesterday, wrestling around with the uh, railroad ties and everything, but gotta get this done. So first things first here, we've gotta trim down these uh, two by eights, I'm pretty sure these are, and frame them in here. And then we gotta throw insulation on and then cover it with this uh, three quarter inch plywood floor. So nothing to it but to do it. <laughs> check it out guys we got the outer uh, vertical deals doubled up all the way around I don't know how many nails you're supposed to use so I just use like a million of them <laughs> and uh, yeah hopefully that'll work out well now like I said I do have rolls of insulation to put in this floor um, but I will say hopefully even just having the bottom of this closed in will help tremendously because a lot of you guys know those Yeti cups that everybody likes. The reason why those work so well, there's not like some kind of super awesome insulation on the inside. Apparently it's just an air pocket between the inner and outer layers. And uh, that insulates it really well. So hopefully this air pocket will keep a lot of the cold air out of the structure. And then obviously I do have all that R30 insulation as well. Woo! Now, one thing I have to say is uh, prayers are definitely being answered out here. Uh, something I forgot about living in Texas is in northern climates like this, it gets cold at night, like really cold at night, even when it's fairly warm out during the year. Uh, you can see it's not even lunchtime, and I'm about to shed a uh, second layer here momentarily. Uh, yeah, it is definitely getting warm out here. You know, the thing is, there it'll be like 95 during the day, and it only cools down to like maybe 75 at night. Here it's like 70, 75 during the day and it gets down to, I didn't actually check during the night, but it was supposed to be 34 degrees here uh, the other night. And I'm basically camping out here. I don't have heat. Fortunately, I do have my cold weather sleep system, which is good. Uh, yeah, otherwise that would have been extremely uncomfortable. But yeah, I forgot about that. It's a refreshing change and I need to get this thing done fairly quickly. We have about four days of good weather. Uh, and then it starts to get cold again. So yeah, I, I don't want to dawdle around here. <sighs> I guess what's next is the insulation and then the plywood on top. All right, now there's something that I need to problem solve here. I actually bothered doing the math for once so I didn't end up with the wrong amount of material, but apparently they changed how many inches are in 16 feet because I ended up with an extra board somehow, even though I didn't, but whatever. So anyway, looking at this, one of these two by, uh, whatever these things are, two by eights or two by tens, Oh, maybe it's not that one. I don't know, one of them's cracked. I thought it was that one. The good news is somehow I have a roll in a half, roll in a third or something of insulation left over. And honestly, you guys, that was really easy. I have no idea why people build anything like this without putting insulation in it. Uh, yeah, that was not bad at all. The bad news is that I did finally run out of screws in my Gatorade bottle, so I had to open some of the store-bought ones. But, whoo, got her did. I guess now it's off to try to buy some materials for the whatever the vertical sections are called, joists or something. All right, so first part of the day on Friday, I got the insulation in and then it covered up the uh, joists or rafters or whatever they are with the plywood. Uh, second part of the day on Friday, I drove off to the lumber yard. We're getting materials for all this stuff. Uh, this is almost exactly a thousand dollars worth of lumber. Uh, and I also picked up this sheet of roofing material, which has one scratch there and a, di and a dime sized dent further up. And for that reason, it was more than half off. So I'll take that any day of the week. That was Friday. Uh, Saturday is our Sabbath day, so we don't do anything out here then if I can help it. And today is Sunday, first day of the week. So it's time to rock and roll.
Man, that is flimsy. Look at that, it's all jankety and stuff. So I always knew there were codes for like electrical stuff and, uh, and plumbing and whatnot, but all the residential construction I've ever seen in my life is so, well, you know, anything made hmm, last 70, 80 years is so hilariously flimsy and it falls apart under its own weight in like no time at all. It never really occurred to me that there would actually be a group of people, you know, who studied that kind of thing and said, yeah, this is great, just send it like, because it just it is, I assumed it was basically a free for all. But I found out there actually are codes for making things out of wood just recently, like within the last year or less. And they say when you make stuff, you're supposed to put it on 16 inch centers, which I have. And they make entire houses out of two by fours. And these are two by sixes. So basically it's 50% overbuilt and it's still rickety as uh, Maybe when I put some of the other walls up, it'll get like more sturdier and then it'll be, uh, you know, better. You know, that one wall already helped quite a bit. Woo lad, she's still moving a little. See if we can make this more solid. All right, so the good news is I got three out of the four walls up. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's pretty roomy in here. Considering I don't have even the faintest idea what I'm doing, I'm pretty happy. And then coming around here to the front, trying to make some plans, you can see I figured out where I want to put the door on this thing. And uh, so yeah, the front needs to be 12 feet so that way the roof is sloped so like water and stuff can run off. Uh, and there's no way I can lift a 12 foot rafter or whatever up there myself, so. I think I'm just gonna do it in pieces, and I found some of these nifty little brackets here. I've never used these things before, I think they're from like making decks or whatever, but I'm gonna try to put it together with this, so I can uh, get this up here myself, hopefully. I got these brackets in here, I didn't know which way they're supposed to face, so I just put some of them facing one way and others facing the other way. Also I use deck screws because I'm gonna put the deck right here. Right now this has been fun um, but I actually do need to for a change of pace say a few things on a serious note here first off I got this in the only part I did not frame is where the door goes because I plan to put the door in and then I'll frame like over the top of it and then like do the sides or whatever I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it but mm, that's kind of my plan on a more serious note glory and thanks to God that I did not fall off of that thing because that was some super sketch with stretch action now, that begs the inevitable question, why do I not have helpers out here doing this? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because all these little farms around here used to have like 10 and 12 kids apiece. Uh, but then the church going people, you know, even though scripture's clear to be fruitful and multiply, all the church going people did what the worldly people do, like always, which is to have 2.3 kids per family. Uh, so, you know, you extrapolate that out over two or three generations, and all of a sudden, all these stupid people start complaining that there's no longer a bunch of kids to hire to clear the snow, uh, you know, or to, you know, do the odd jobs, do the yard work, you know, handle the other side of the two by sixes, whatever. They just can't figure out why. Well, I'll tell you why. They don't exist because they were never born. And people will be like, you don't understand, you know, we just can't afford that. Our ancestors on their way to Europe had pretty much nothing other than the clothes on their backs, but they trusted in our creator and, uh, you know, they pulled it off somehow. But alas, I think I'm going to call this a decent stopping point for right now. I'm pretty happy with how this has gone together. You know, I really am. On a serious note, praise God, it is uh, pretty straight and pretty square. 
Uh, really no idea how I'm going to get the sheets of plywood up there myself. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. I guess we'll see what tomorrow holds. What a beautiful night.